in my life I have dealt mainly with executive men. So my level of articulation of concepts, ideas, and suggestions, counseling, coaching, training, is very different than the men that I have to deal with and not really want to deal with right now in the day-to-day -day aspects of my living. When people approach me with their questions, I'm often miffed, to be quite honest, because sometimes the people that walk up to you are intentionally condescending and patronizing, whether they're a woman or a man. They're trying to bait someone of intelligence to feel stupid about the life they're in. And the truth is, when I see these young officers asking me these questions and how they run their mouth off so much that they kind of talk over themselves and backjack over themselves and make themselves look stupid, I openly just look at them and go, what have you ever in this lifetime done as a man with any years of success and I want to be careful about saying this because I don't want to harm somebody who's really got something they've really been proud of and they've really done but my questions are always in the areas of life balance how long have you been a person of faith and had your faith whatever it might be or your philosophy proven to you how long have you been in a relationship of betrothment in other words faithful and loyal to someone in my case 20 plus years and openly how often did you have to deal with serving a family or friend do you have children that you have loved from beginning until end and how long did you parent them or how long have you been parenting them and how many books have you ever read on parenting and openly in your work Better yet, have you built a business to serve your community? And how many years did it work? In my case, 15 to 18 years, that is. And on top of that, did you create any foundations? Did you find anything or did you found anything, to be more clear, that served your community? I did for three plus years, several times over. You see... When you're asking a man what it means to be a man, it's very different for people. There's a guy who thinks he's all man because he's got a job and you don't, but at the same time you want to look at his life and go, what have you produced? What have you earned? Whose trust do you have? And openly there's always going to be those people that are, well, I knew him way back when, but he's a total louse now, he's a total mouse now, he's a total... Really? Where have you been as my family? my member or my friend or my colleague what did you do to come towards getting any help from me or better yet to help me so you've lied about yourself already you utilized my services you came to my events you valued all the people you met because it expanded your social and professional networks but what did you do when I was in struggle when I lost my wife or my son did you do anything to help me or is that when your life of fun begun? But what I can say to you from God's house is God is always looking on. And what he feels about you is that you didn't serve yourself as a man. Because your attitude is, I'm a man because I've got a dick that's big in my pants. And that's usually how men think. That's usually what they do. They want to up, one upsmith you all the time. And I talk about packages quite freely this time. Because at my age, I don't give a shit what you think of my package. Because what I've got in my package is none of your fucking business. And it doesn't make me a better man. What makes me a man is how I live my faith, how I handle my family, what I do to build my finances while you are working 60, 80 hours a week for your money. And I work a different number of hours to make the money that I need right now just to survive all the shit you did to me.